Do you like to impress your friends? Well, today we'll show you the art of practical magic that anyone can master. We've prepared some simple yet very effective magic tricks which will totally impress your friends and family. I've got a little gift for you. Look at this beautifully wrapped box. Interesting, what's inside? Ah! Is that someone's hand? For this prank, we're going to need some gloves made out of a thick fabric and a big gift box. Make a square window shifted a bit to the left on the back of the box. Hot glue the glove in the left corner of the box. Put your right hand inside the glove and take the box in your hands. Insert your left hand into the box through the window. Time to impress some folks! The hand that suddenly appears from the box will make a big effect at any party. Tricks with money will always impress a crowd. For this trick, we'll need a coin, a handkerchief, and a glass full of water. Cover the coin with the handkerchief and place the props on top of the glass. Hit the coin with your finger to make it drop into the water. Lift up the handkerchief and we don't see any coins in the glass. Simply amazing! We need to prepare for this trick. Transfer the outline of the coin onto a piece of plastic and cut it out. Place the plastic circle on top of the coin and sneakily hide the coin in your hand when covering it with the handkerchief. Now there's only the fake plastic coin inside the handkerchief. The transparent plastic bends in the water and is practically invisible. Spectacular! And now the magician has a pretty paper napkin in his hands. Tear a small corner piece off of the napkin and put it on the table. Tear off another piece. Unfold the napkin. It should have a tear right in the middle, but the napkin is intact. The secret is simple. We've prepared a similar corner piece beforehand and hid it between our fingers. A perfect trick for a starting magician. Is magical transformation of objects possible without a magic wand? Yes, it is! Make a square out of some paper strips. Place a coin inside and fold the edges. Give the magic box a few turns. Unfold the square and, instead of a coin, we see a banknote. What a great interest rate in our paper bank! Let's show you how it's made. We'll need four strips of thick paper. We're making a pink mint square. Fold the strips of paper in half. Weave a square by joining the strips together, like so. Fold in the loose ends of the strips, like so. Seal the square by plugging the end of the last strip into the first one. Turn it over and do the same on the other side. Our double-sided box with a secret is ready. Just don't forget in which side you put the banknote and in which you put the coin. And we're over one million now! Yay! How many spoons of sugar do you put in your tea? And how many forks? This magic drink can turn a spoon into a fork. We're going to need a disposable fork and spoon. Cut off the spoon head. Cover up the teeth on the fork with the spoon head. Stir the tea with your hybrid spoon fork. Get rid of the spoon head by leaving it in the drink. And a fork emerges out of the cup. A great way to prank your friends during dinner. A Mobius strip is one of the weirdest geometric figures out there. Despite its weirdness, it is still pretty easy to make. You can do it in a couple of minutes. We'll need a strip of paper. Roll the strip into a circle and twist one end 180 degrees. Secure the ends of the strip with some tape. What would happen if we cut the strip along the middle? We end up with the same ring, but of greater diameter. Now, let's make a strip with two twists. Cut it along the middle. Voila! We get two rings joined together. Two rings without end. This is actually not a trick, it's just simple mathematics. Let's do a chemical experiment and create a flame in a bottle. We'll need some ethanol and a small bag of boric acid. Mix the ingredients inside a glass bottle. Light up a match and throw it into the bottle. Burn, fire, burn! The greenish looking flame is caused by the triethyl borate, which is the result of ethanol reacting with boric acid. For the next trick, we'll need some rubbing alcohol, some water, and salt. Mix the ingredients together in a container. Thoroughly mix in the salt. 
Dip a banknote in this mixture. Holding the banknote with some tweezers, carefully put it near a flame. The bill catches on fire but doesn't get damaged. Why doesn't it turn to ashes? It's actually not the banknote that is burning, it's the ethanol. Once the rubbing alcohol runs out, the fire stops. But remember, safety first. Use a simple matchbox to prank your friends. Show your friends the empty matchbox. Close it, open it again, and this time it's full of matches. Is that even possible? For this simple trick, we're going to need a matchbox and a few matches. Put the matches between the box and the slider. If you don't open the matchbox all the way up, then you can't even see the matches. The matches fall down into the box as soon as you close it. A fun and simple little trick. For the next trick, show a coin and a napkin to the audience. Take the coin and put it on the napkin, but it somehow ends up hidden underneath the napkin. The trick is to push the coin under the napkin with a quick and precise movement of the finger. A flick of a finger and the coin magically teleports under the napkin. And in this next trick, the coin won't disappear, but it will inexplicably fuse into the table. While sitting at the table, put a coin in front of you. Rub it into the table and say a couple of magic words. Demonstrate the empty hand, and there's no coin on the table either. What's the secret? Place the coin at about 10 centimeters from the edge and start rubbing it in. While rubbing the coin into the table, slowly push it towards the edge until it falls down right on your knees. No tricks, only sleight of hand. Money just flies right into our hands. It can fly into your hands too if you decide to try out this next trick. We'll need an ordinary banknote and a drinking straw. Cut two small pieces from the straw. Glue them to the banknote. Pull a thin line through these plastic tunnels. Wrap it around your fingers, pulling the banknote towards you. The banknote looks like it's floating from one hand to the other. And there's the whole trick! For this trick, we're just going to use a short piece of rope or shoelace. Tie a knot, cut the loop of rope with scissors. Two parts of the rope are tied together with the knot. Pull on both ends of the rope. The knot suddenly disappears and the rope is completely intact. The secret is in the special way you tie the knot. Wrap one end of the rope around the other. Make a knot, tie it in a way that one end is shorter than the other. Now, cut the rope from the side of the shorter end, leaving the bigger part of the rope intact. Pull on the ends and the knot just flies off. No magic involved. And now, let's show a simple trick with paper clips. Show the audience an ordinary dollar bill. Fold the bill in three. Attach two paper clips on the folds of the banknote. Pull on the bill to unfold it. The paper clips fly off onto the table, forming a two-link chain. This trick works almost automatically. Want to give it a try? Showcase your powers to your friends by piercing a bottle cap with a simple plastic straw. Wow! The straw magically goes straight through and into the closed bottle. Of course, it's not just your magical powers. Don't forget to prepare your props by making a tiny hole in the bottle cap. Accurately push the straw through the hole. Then hide it by covering it with your finger when showing the bottle to the audience. Take a good look at this sheet of paper. Don't you think that this piece is out of place here? Where did it even come from? This interesting illusion puzzle is very easy to make. Make three lines with a pencil on a thick sheet of paper. Cut the sheet along the lines. Fold the middle piece. Now, cross over the ears by twisting one half of the sheet 180 degrees. Simple, but awesome! Now, we'll show you how to make a can of cola fly from one cup to another with no hands. Place the two cups at a small distance from each other. Put an empty soda can in one of them. Blow into the cup, and the stream of air pushes the can out of the cup. With a bit of practice, you should be able to shoot the can from one cup straight into the other. Do you like drawing? Let's spice up a drawing class with an innocent prank. Show your friend a box with pencils. Cover the opening with your hand and the box becomes empty. Turn the box and the pencils reappear. We need a bit of preparation in order to make this trick work. Replace the pencils with some short crayons. Glue the crayons together with a wide piece of tape. Place the prop in the box. When you tilt the box, the crayons freely slide up and down. You can fix them in the right position by pressing on the sides of the box with your fingers. 
and some more coin magic to finish off this video. Put the coin next to the mirror and closely look at its reflection. Cover the coin with your finger and push it towards you. Another coin just appears out of nowhere. A coin from the other side of the mirror and not just its reflection? The trick is to put another coin on the back of the mirror while no one is watching. Just keep practicing. You'll get it right eventually. Did you enjoy our new compilation of magic tricks? Which one impressed you the most? The non-flammable banknote, the hand in the box, or the flying soda cans? Let us know in the comment section. Hit the like button and subscribe to Troom Troom Select. And don't forget to press on the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video.